everyone, this video would focus on hinge theorem. Now let's go over this hinge theorem right here and its converse. The hinge theorem states that if two triangles have two congruent sides, then the one with the larger included angle has the longer third side. Now let's look at this picture right here. So in this figure, we have two congruent sides. So these sides are equal each other and these sides right here are equal each other. So we're looking at angle V and angle R. Angle V is 88 and angle R is 35. Across this two angles are line segment WX and ST. From this theorem that we have right here, we can tell that this third side, this line segment or this side WX is longer compared to that of ST. The reason for that is the opening of angle V is bigger compared to the opening of angle R. So we can go ahead and write this um, in statement form. So that would be WX line segment or side WX is greater than side ST. Or we can also write this as ST is less than WX. So this is what we mean by the hinge theorem. So pretty much if the opening is big or the angle is big, that means the side across from it would also be longer. If the opening is small or the angle is small, the side across from it would be shorter. Now let's have the converse of the hinge theorem. The converse of the hinge theorem states that if two triangles have two congruent sides, so the sides that are congruent in this triangle are AC and FD, and then the other one here is CB and FD. E. Then the one with the longer third side has the larger included angle. So we're looking for the side right here. So if the third side is longer, then the angle across from it is bigger compared to the shorter side. Since this is 9, so this, corn, this opening right here or this angle right here is smaller compared to the angle right here since this... Um, third side is bigger so that we can go ahead and write this in statement form that would be angle c is greater than that's bigger than angle f again the reason for that is the third side is longer so if the side is longer the angle across from it is bigger or we can also state it the other way around that would be angle f so this angle right here has a shorter third side. So that means this has less angle compared to angle C. So measure of angle F is less than the measure of angle C. This is the converse of the hinge theorem. To better understand this, I'd like you to look at this presentation. If you notice this Two sticks that we have right here have equal lengths and these two sticks right here have equal lengths as well. We're going to form an angle out from this. So we're going to pair up one green and one red together. So what are we going to do is the other um, partner here will create a bigger angle while this other partner here will create a smaller angle. <laughs> Okay, looking at this, we can compare this to the hinge theorem. So these two sides, the green and the green are congruent and this red colored side right here are, are also congruent. So if two triangles have two congruent sides, then the one with the larger included angle has the longer side. So in this case right here, our angle, the opening between these two sides is big. This means that this third side across from it would be longer compared to that of this. So if you compare the length of these two sides right here, 
This is longer, this is shorter. Again, it's because the opening or the angle here is bigger, the angle here is smaller, although both sides are congruent. They are actually, uh, they differ in terms of their angle. Now, the converse would also be true. If these two triangles have two congruent sides, so these two sides are congruent, then the one with a longer third side has the larger included angle. So this is the longer side, it has the larger angle. This is the shorter side, it has the smaller angle. So this is what we mean by the hinge theorem. Now let's take some more examples. Okay, so let's go over the problem here. We're supposed to fill in the blanks, the blanks right here, A, B, blank, D, E, with either greater than, less than, or equal to each other. So we are given A, B, so this line right here, A, B, and D, E, this line right here. We're going to compare them. Is A, B longer than D, E, or A, B is shorter than D, E? To better understand this, we're going to look at the angle across from this side. So I'm just going to label that down here. So the angle across AB, so the angle across AB is 105 degrees. And then the angle across DE is 110 degrees. So then we can go ahead and say that 105 is less than 110. This means that we are supposed to put a less than symbol right here. AB is shorter than DE because again, 105 degrees is less than 110. Now let's try the next example. So again, in this example, we're supposed to fill in the blanks with greater than, less than, or equal to each other. So we are supposed to determine angle N, so angle N, the corner right here, and angle H, the corner right here, is N bigger than H or is N less than H? We can go ahead and compare the side lengths between these two. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that uh, down here. So the side across angle N is 17, and then the side across angle H is 16. So we're going to compare is 17 greater than 16, or 17 less than 16, or 17 is equal to 16. Yes, 17 is greater than 16, so that we can go ahead and write the greater than symbol right here. This means that angle N is bigger than angle H. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Fill in the blanks with greater than, less than, or equal to each other. Angle C is blank to angle A. So angle C is right here, and this is angle A. We can do that by comparing the side across from them. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it down here. So the side across angle C is 7, and then we have the side across angle A is 8. Looking at this, 7 is less than 8. So the symbol that we're going to have here should be less than because 7 is shorter than 8. This means that angle C is getting a smaller angle compared to that of angle A. So angle A has a bigger opening. Angle C has a small opening. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we're going to go over the problem here. So we need to determine the uh, relationship between LS and MS. Is, it, is LS greater than, less than, or equal to MS? As you can see on this picture right here, we are determining the relationship between where we're comparing uh, the line segments. So then we go ahead and determine the angle across from them. So the angle across LS is 98 
degrees while the angle across MS is 95 degrees. So we're going to compare these two together. 98 is greater than 95. So this is greater than. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.